a Vietnamese Catholic priest and members of his parish in north-central Vietnam's Ngachian province have submitted a letter to local authorities asking that they be allowed to provide testimony on behalf of another parishioner whom authorities are prosecuting on phony charges related to a land dispute incident. Father Nguyen Duc Nhan and the members of Khe Gai Parish under the Vin Diocese in Hung Nguyen District's Hung Te Commune submitted the letter on May 11 about fellow church member Vo Dinh Phuc, accused of illegally detaining other people. They made the request just four days after they petitioned provincial police to take action against local officials they say ordered thugs to beat them. As they tried to make improvements on disputed land claimed both by church and local authorities. The thugs, known as red flags, with the national flag emblems they wear on their shirts, attack the parishioners on deck. 17 As they dug an irrigation ditch on the land to prevent their fields from flooding. The beatings, which left one parishioner unconscious, took place in front of police who did nothing to stop them. Witnesses told RFA's Vietnamese service. The provincial police office acknowledged receipt of the complaint in a January 29th letter. But instead summoned four parishioners on May 3rd for questioning about their alleged involvement in the December 17th incident. The four refused to meet with police, and parishioners responded with their petition accusing authorities of trying to make the complaint disappear by threatening them. NGHE and police sent two more summonses with a more serious but phony charge that the parishioners had illegally detained other people. One of these notices, sent to Vodin Phuc on May 9th said that he would receive notification of authorities' decision on the charge. Fuck said the accusations are inaccurate. I am a common peasant, he told RFA. Until now, I haven't had a criminal record. I am both a good citizen and a Catholic. On that day, December 17, a person was beaten unconscious, he said. I felt so upset and intervened without beating or detaining any others. Now they, the police, are accusing me of committing such an act. And it is unjustifiable. They, the police, have not sent any more summonses and instead are proceeding with prosecution, said Nguyen Van An, another church member who received a summons. Citing Article 88 responding to the trumped-up charge, the parishioners in their letter asked that they be allowed to testify on Fuck's behalf based on Article 88 of Vietnam's Criminal Code which says authorities proceeding with a court case are entitled to ask government services, organizations, and individuals to provide evidence to help clarify the case. This is an act of trampling on justice that will set a dangerous precedent. NHAN told RFA, It is so difficult to live in a lawless society. Human rights, truth, and justice are trampled. Government supporting it. Read flags. Groups frequently mobilized to attack Catholic priests and parishioners in Vietnam in what social media users and rights groups describe as state-sponsored abuse in the one-party communist country. Vietnamese attorney Vo and Don told RFA that authorities routinely level ambiguous accusations such as disrupting social order, opposing enforcement officials, or abusing the rights to democracy and freedom to infringe upon the interests of the state against citizens as a pretext for suppression. In March, U.S.-based rights group Boat People SOS urged U.S. State Department officials to voice concern over the rise in Vietnam of activist groups tied to the harassment of dissidents and religious communities. 
ahead of the U.S.-Vietnam Human Rights Dialogue that will be held on May 23rd in Hanoi. Thank you for listen to my channel. Please is subscribe for get hot news in the world.